This is going to be the final video in the series for this old lab lamp. And you can see that I have created a different focus knob here. And it's time now to do the materials. Now, the only material I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do the emission. I'm instead going to just provide an image for you and you can just follow along and do that and you'll get an effect uh, similar to mine. All right, but I am going to be doing two materials. They're going to be very similar. I'm going to be doing a gold material on here and a black material on there. So uh, right now everything's just got a default material. So I'm going to select that and go into the shading tab and we'll get started. And I'm going to be referring back to uh, this image uh, because I don't always remember exactly what my settings are going to be. But this is what we're going to be doing for the lab lamp uh, gold metal. All right, so you can see I've got a principal BSDF. I'm going to be sliding up the metallic here. Um, I'm not going to be messing around with the roughness because I'm going to be plugging something in. Essentially, I'll be using two noise textures connected to the texture coordinate. And one of them is going to have the mapping node because I'm going to change this value here to give uh, sort of a brush metal look. We'll also have a couple of color ramps here. They're very similar just to change pretty much to this one, maybe a slight position change and a very small bump. Uh, this is going to go into the roughness and this is going to go into the normal. And that's going to be it for the uh, gold metal. Now, if you have a look at the black metal, you are going to see that it's very similar. Again, we've got the texture coordinate mapping, but this is not changed. So it's not going to be a brushed metal on this one. Uh, two noise textures, two color ramps, and again, a bump going in, roughness affected this way, and metallic all the way up. All right? And of course, this is going to determine the color of what I'm calling the black metal. All right? So I'm going to switch back over to the gold metal, and we're going to start making this. All right? So uh, I'm going to uh, delete this here, and I'm going to call this uh, gold metal. And I've got my principal BSDF right there. All right, so I'm going to bring in a texture noise texture and I'm going to press Control T with the uh, node wrangler enabled and that'll put down the texture coordinate and mapping. I'm going to switch to object right there and while I'm here I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it down and I'm going to come down from here to there into the vector input there. All right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a converter color ramp and I'm going to plug the color into this one here and that is going to feed in. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is click on that and shift control T so I can see that. And I'm going to start adjusting my noise texture. So to get a similar uh, effect, I want 516, 0.6. 5.16 for the detail. And a 0.6 for the noise. Let's zoom in here a little bit. All right, and for the color, I'm going to be going for a sort of a mid-gray to an orange there. So I'm going to pull this up a little bit. I'm going to change this to maybe around there. We'll start with that. Pull this in just a little bit. And we're going to make this an orange kind of a color here. Just try that and see how that's more of a yellow color, actually. We'll go for that. Let's turn this all the way up. And let's plug this into there and shift control click there. All right. So we're getting that effect. You see this mottled gray uh, look. Uh, let me just come back here and have another look at this. All right. Let's pull that in a little bit more. And we're going to come over here and we're going to switch this to around 40 and that'll get us the brushed, the brushed look. And then you can uh, adjust this, make it darker or lighter. I think I'll make it a little bit lighter and we'll have that kind of a look there. So it's a little bit plasticky looking admittedly. All right. So this one's here and we also need another color ramp. So let's bring that in put that down there this is going to connect to here and we're going to make a light to a slightly darker one I'm going to pull that in and make this a light gray and I'm going to pull that in 
and we're going to make it a little bit darker like that try that and we're going to need a vector bump so the color is going to go into the height i'll bring this down to 0 0.1 see if we can see that and then i'll probably lower it from there all right see that effect there 0 0.01 that's probably not, not enough of 0 0.05 so let's do that and let's have a, just a look at the uh, noise uh, parameters here. I've got 516 and 0 0.8. So we'll bring the detail up to 16 and the roughness of 0 0.8. And that is what I get. I also want that to be plugged into the roughness. And there we go. Now we're starting to get a nice, a nice look on that. Now, another thing I should mention is I've got lights and camera in there, so I'm going to talk briefly about those. All right, here are my lights. I've got an area light here, and I've got an area light back there. I should have another area light. I guess maybe I don't. Okay, I've got some, I guess I've got a sun there, and I've got some point lights here and there. Okay, and I've got... Um, I'm using the studio, what is it called, studio small HDR for my lighting. So if I switch over to that, okay, I, I do have that. I want that texture on a few, a few different parts. So I'm going to select the parts that I want, as many of them as I can, uh, here. And I'll grab at least those and I'll shift click on that last and control L link materials so it's starting to come on there and I think I'm going to do the wheel here and this piece and this piece so just shift click on something that's got that material on it and I want this part shift click link and this stuff up here both of those control L link I want this in black, this in black, this in black, that in black. This will have the emission and yeah, that kind of stuff like that. Let's go back in and let's work on the black material. Let's make a copy of that and call this black metal. And we'll put that just on here, black metal, and then we'll just make the changes we need right now. It's that gold metal. Make the changes. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that to one so it's not that brushed look. Let's come over here. Okay, I've got different values. I've got 216 and 0 0.6. So let's change that to 216 and 0 0.6. We've got that already. All right. And we'll change the colors here. So I got a darker gray to a black there. So I'm going to slide this down. And I'm going to make this sort of darker like that. And I'm going to come back to this and put the gold back on. Make sure we're working just on that. Okay, that looks all right there. And on this color ramp, and this 516 is 0 0.8. Let's double check that. Okay, that's all the same. And this one, I just tighten these up, really, I think. Well, something like that. Let's try that on here. Let's just choose black metal. Now I'll come back out to here. So I want that and this. Let's see, the bolt and that and that control L link materials I want this and this I want this bolt here in black all right I'm going to come up to here and I want these and this control L link materials So I've put the emission material on, and here it is. All right, essentially the same as the image that I will provide for you.
but just to talk a little bit about it, there are two principal BSDFs mixed together with a mixed shader. And on this bottom one here, I've adjusted the roughness down. Um, I've added a color to the emission and changed the emission strength. And on this one, I have uh, adjusted the emission strength here. Plugged into the emission is this color ramp with this orange color to black and I've used the layer weight of facing 0.1. And up top here on the mix shader connected to the fact is a color ramp going from yellow to black with again another layer weight of facing of 0.3. And you can play with those values. Just copy that and plug them in and that will give you an effect like this. Now in the compositing, I've done nothing. I've, I haven't done a glare because it's just I find it just a little bit too bright. So once again, I've got a camera in here and I've got a few lights. And if I look through the camera here and I focus on this somewhere, find a, a spot that I maybe would want to take a render from. That's going to be a little bit bright with that. But I'm just going to do one. Let's say we do one from here. All right, we'll just do a quick render. Uh, just uh, in terms of render settings, there's nothing special going on here. I'm using Eevee. I've got a sampling at 150. I've got ambient occlusion on. Often I bring this up to two. So I'll go ahead and do that. I've got this bloom on, haven't changed, screen space reflections and refraction on. And that is it. Uh, I'm using 1024 by 1024, 80% for the moment so we can see it. And I'm gonna slide that up to 100. So I'll go ahead in Eevee and do a quick render and we'll see uh, see what it looks like at that point. I do want some backlight on this. I find that interesting. So uh, so here we go, we'll, we'll do a quick render and I'll be right back. All right, here's what that first render looks like. And you'll notice, of course, I've got a transparent uh, background. And that's because I've come into here and I've adjusted film to transparent. I'll show you that in a second. But this is the overall effect. So it looks like metal, but it also looks a little bit like plastic. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't want it to look too realistic. I'm not going for realism. But that is the lamp. I'll do one more render after I show you this come down to film you can see I've got transparent check if I uncheck that I will see the HDRI image in the background and I don't want that um, I usually bring this into PowerPoint and put it on the background and do some text and stuff like that so I'll just look to uh, one more I, I do like the the back view uh, to show some other parts of this so I will do something like that just so I see a little bit of the light and we're kind of you know looking from down here and then you get another perspective all right so very simple easy materials to make in blender and i think it looks really cool sort of a steampunk old lab lamp with that nice emission so thank you very much for watching this i hope you found it interesting and if you do happen to model this and you want to show it to me either email me or put it on the zero bio discord and i'd love to see what you come up with